hey guys and welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to van cleef and our pals to pre-order something and i'm going to take you with me i will be trying on a few pieces from alhambra collection and i hope that you will like this video and will find it interesting by the way guys if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section down below do subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it and follow me on my Instagram account which is the same as my YouTube account, black and gold style. Please also consider checking out my other playlists, I posted quite a few videos about Cartier, Van Cleef and Rappels, Bulgari, Rolex, luxury tips and mistakes. Dior, jewelry, weekly vlogs, style and fashion, Chanel bags, luxury shopping vlogs, beauty products and travel videos. It's been a while since I came to the store and today I'll be trying on all of these gorgeous items. I can't wait, I'm so excited and I'm always happy to be back to VCA. Van Cleef and our pals is having another price increase, it's worldwide and it's going to be 5% on every item. So I thought it's a good idea to come in and pre-order because I have something on my wish list and I'm so in love with it. I would not want to overpay for it later, especially that this increase for the specific item would be quite hefty. I have been so in love with Alhambra collection, I have been wearing it non-stop and I feel like I definitely need to add more things to finish my collection, at least for Alhambra. I'm considering to add another 10 motif in white mother of pearl and another one in onyx so I could connect with my existing ones and create a 20 look for both. I would be wearing them on its own and also stacked together because I like this combination. Black and white is so stunning and I wear it the most. It just goes with absolutely everything. And by the way, I have been reaching for Onyx most of the time. I'm so obsessed with it at the moment. Well, I'm always obsessed with it, but at the moment I keep reaching for it over and over again. It's not too flashy, but yet it's so elegant and timeless. The funny thing is, when I saw it for the first time, I thought Onyx is too much for me. I did not even consider it, and now I'm so in love with it. I think I'll be getting Onyx necklace next. The U-shape is so cute, I'm obsessed with it. I could wear it with dresses, with tops and jeans, and also I could wear it with tweed jackets. The length is really nice and I actually find the original length of the 20 motif is a little bit too short, especially for me. But it's nice that I'm able to create different looks with it. I'm also obsessed with another look when I combine 20 motif onyx necklace with the 20 motif white mother of pearl and stack them together. I think I would be able to wear it like that quite often. By the way guys, here I'm trying on white mother of pearl necklace in white gold, but I'm actually considering to get white mother of pearl in yellow gold. But even this one looks so nice here. I find VCA Alhambra collection so versatile, it just works with everything. You can connect different sizes of necklaces, for example in my case my 10 motif necklace with another 10 motif. You can combine them with the five motif bracelets and you can also combine different stones and metals. And by the way guys, I have previously reviewed White Mother of Pearl Stone and Onyx and I will link them down in the description box below in case you want to check them out. There is also another way to style these necklaces to wear them in their original way. In the past, I actually tried them on with another outfit with a black top and the jeans and I will link down that video for you guys in case you want to check it out. My advice would be to come to the store several times to try it on with different outfits to make sure that this is something that you will love and wear as often as possible. 
After all, low cost per wear is very important. Otherwise, it just doesn't make any sense to purchase it. I might also get white mother of pearl earrings in the vintage size so that I can create different looks. And another item that I'm considering to add to my wish list is this ring. It's so gorgeous, even though this one is too big for me, but it just looks so nice. I think it's going to look amazing with the necklace that I'm going to pre-order. And I tried it on in different stones in the past. I also tried it on in the white gold. I will find it and link it down in the description box below for you guys in case you want to check it out. The only thing is the size of the rings in Van Cleef and Rapals is not the same. For example, my in between the fingers ring is in a size 48. However, when I tried other rings, I had to go size up or size down. It's better to go to the store and try it on in person to make sure it fits you perfectly. And here is a necklace I have been obsessing with for quite some time. I discovered it by accident. The moment I tried it on, I just fell in love with it. It's a lot longer than the 20 motif necklace and you can't actually adjust the length because of the clasp. It's quite different from the other necklaces, but I think that's fine. And there are so many ways of how you can wear it and I'm gonna show you some as well. I actually wanted to get a long necklace to wear it with other outfits and I'll also show to you how this necklace looks with long jackets it's very beautiful. I feel like it's just a perfect length. It makes this necklace a lot more versatile. It looks great with various colors of clothes, even with the bright clothes. And I also love the way this necklace looks with magic Alhambra earrings. It's such a stunning set. And also you can wrap it around your neck two times. It's a beautiful look as well. And when you wrap it like that, the length is going to be the same as the length of the 20 motif necklace, which is just perfect. And of course, you can make it shorter if you pull the upper side down. But I really like this look. It's so stunning. I feel like it looks great with all kinds of outfits. Guys, which necklace do you prefer from those that I tried on in this video? Please let me know in the comment section down below. I'm very curious to see what you're going to say. By the way, my sales associate told me that this necklace is one of the few items that are not available for pre-order. There are only a few of them. At least it's like that in Singapore. Maybe it's different in other countries. If you really like this necklace and you want to get it, if you get to spot it in a store, you might as well purchase it. Also, a few friends of mine have been telling me that they had problems with pre-orders. Some of my friends have been waiting for their items from 6 to 10 months. Also, my SA told me one of her clients has been waiting for a pair of earrings for about one year. When I was pre-ordering my two 10 motif necklaces in May of last year, I think I had to wait for them for about one or two months, which was quite surprising. I thought that they are so popular and so easy to get, but now some items take even longer. I think a lot depends also on popularity of the design. If the item is produced more often, it will probably take less to get it. I guess it's a new reality with the pre-orders, unfortunately. I definitely miss the days when you could walk into the store and everything was available. And to think about it, it was just in 2019. And that was across all brands. Chanel, Dior, Cartier, Louis Vuitton. It was just so much better before pandemic. Oh well, nothing we can do. Anyways guys, this is it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you like this video and found it interesting. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. Do subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. And follow me on my Instagram account, which is the same as my YouTube account. 
black and gold style. Have a great day and I see you guys next time. Bye!